Are you a fan of Loki, the god of mischief, and his time-traveling adventures? Do you want to be prepared for the second season of his hit show on Disney Plus? If so, you might want to catch up on some of the MCU movies and shows that are connected to his story. In this video, we will tell you the nine MCU movies and shows to watch before Loki season two and why they are important for understanding his character and the multiverse. Captain America. The first Avenger movie introduces the Tesseract, an energy cube that contains the Space Stone, one of the six Infinity Stones that play a major role in the MCU. The Tesseract is also the object that Loki uses to travel through time and space in Loki. Thor, 2011 movie, introduces Loki, the adopted brother of Thor, the god of thunder. Loki is the main protagonist of Loki and his relationship with Thor is one of the most important aspects of his character arc. The Avengers 2012 movie features the first team-up of the Avengers, who are Earth's mightiest heroes. Loki is the main antagonist of this movie, as he tries to conquer the world with the help of the Chitauri, an alien army sent by Thanos. This movie also shows how Loki escapes with the Tesseract in Avengers Endgame, which leads to the events of Loki season one. Thor. The Dark World movie features the second appearance of Loki, who helps Thor defeat the Dark Elves, who are trying to unleash the Aether, another infinity stone that contains the Reality Stone. Loki fakes his death and takes the throne of Asgard, posing as Odin. This movie also shows how the Tesseract and the Aether are stored in Asgard. Thor Ragnarok movie features the third appearance of Loki, who joins forces with Thor, Hulk, and Valkyrie to stop Hela, the goddess of death, who is trying to destroy Asgard. Loki also reunites with the Tesseract, which he steals from the vault of Asgard before it is destroyed. This movie also shows how Thor loses his eye and hammer. Avengers Infinity War movie features the fourth appearance of Loki, who is killed by Thanos, who is trying to collect all the Infinity Stones to wipe out half of the universe. Loki tries to trick Thanos by offering him the Tesseract, but Thanos sees through his deception and snaps his neck. This movie also shows how Thanos uses the Infinity Gauntlet to achieve his goal. Avengers Endgame movie features the fifth appearance of Loki, who is a variant of the Loki from 2012, who escaped with the Tesseract during the time heist of the Avengers, who are trying to undo Thanos's snap. Loki is captured by the TVA, an organization that maintains the sacred timeline and prevents the creation of alternate realities. This movie also shows how the Avengers use the quantum realm to travel through time and space. Loki season one show features the sixth appearance of Loki, who is recruited by the TVA to help track down another Loki variant, Sylvie, who is sabotaging the TVA's missions and killing their agents. Loki and Sylvie form an unlikely alliance and discover that the TVA is lying to its employees, who are actually variants themselves, kidnap it from their original timelines and brainwashed to serve the TVA. Loki and Sylvie also learn that the TVA is created by a powerful being called He Who Remains, a variant of Kang the Conqueror, a time-traveling warlord who ruled over the multiverse until he decided to end the chaos and create one timeline where he was the sole authority. Loki and Sylvie reach the Citadel at the end of time, where he who remains offers them a choice. Either kill him and unleash the multiverse, or take his place and run the TVA. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania introduces Kang the Conqueror, the most powerful and ruthless of all Kang variants in the MCU. As he who remains mentioned in Loki season one, Kang threatens the idea of an orderly multiverse that the Council of Kangs had envisioned. However, he has been contained in the quantum realm. When Ant-Man and his family end up in the quantum realm, they find themselves forced to topple Kang's reign, seemingly killing him with his own multiversal engine. Still, Ant-Man does not believe Kang is truly dead, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania's mid-credits scene suggests that the Council of Kangs has identified Kang's apparent death as a sign to make them Sylvie's known to the multiversi. <laughs> 